I know all about it. What? Right? See, you know, gentle air, everything. You made off with that one. New state guidelines have bus drivers flagging COVID symptoms for students before they even get on the bus. 25 investigates Carrie Cavanaugh talked to drivers who say they're worried about becoming the first line of defense. I'm not a nurse. I'm not a doctor. I can't tell how somebody else's kid is feeling if they're sick. For more than three years, Diana hersian has been driving a school bus for Dudley and Charlton schools. She's also a parent, and she's very concerned about new guidelines for school buses that place drivers like her and Paulette Civitrice as the first line of defense against the coronavirus. I'm not trained. It would be irresponsible of me to evaluate every child. Um, whether or not they're sick. And Paulette has been driving for Sudbury Schools for 21 years. These drivers, who are members of the Teamsters Local 170, say it's one of the most concerning rules within the 15 pages of school bus guidelines the Massachusetts Department of Secondary and Elementary Education, or DC, released in July. On page 8 is a section on symptom screening. It says families should screen their kids at home, but bus drivers or monitors should be trained to observe students upon entry. And symptomatic kids should not be permitted to enter the school bus if a caregiver is present to take them home. I wouldn't put any of these kids at risk. I wouldn't put myself at risk. I wouldn't put my family at risk. It's just impossible for me to do it. According to the guidelines, if a caregiver can't take a sick student home, they should be kept away from other students, then where they sat needs to be sanitized. But I don't know what the consequences are if a child comes on my bus and is sick and I just put them in the line of danger. It's a, it's a huge risk for me. 25 Investigates has been examining school bus guidelines for several weeks and hearing from drivers who fear they won't be able to pull off all the rules. They require masks for all students and staff on the bus, regardless of age. No more than one student per bench, alternating sides in each row. Windows remain open at all times and assigned seats. The guidelines suggest districts consider adding a bus monitor, but monitors aren't required, and these drivers aren't sure how districts will pay for them. I miss my job. I would love to go back to work. Um, the way things are going now, it's, it's, we don't know. 25 Investigates reached out to D.C. about the bus driver's concerns. The department told me as of this week, they're trying to clarify what they're asking of drivers. They issued updated guidance saying drivers won't have to screen students before they board the bus, only flag the symptoms they observe. When I spoke with the local 170 Teamsters about this, they're concerned the words are changing, not the rules. For 25 Investigates, I'm Carrie Cavanaugh. Unfucking believable. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, we get this off. In the middle of the 